Hey, Blam Fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. Hi. <laughs> this is not my jungle, it's the car. And if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. So, we're in my car today because I have to go run errands. Well, this is David's car, technically. Mine's parked over there because it's still not done being fixed. Anyway, that's a whole story. I have to go run some errands in Manchester, Connecticut today. So I figured while we were there, we would check out the Home Depot and the Lowe's because it has been a few weeks since we've been there. Spring has sprung. It is springing. Hopefully the garden center doors are open and hopefully there's new inventory. So let's go check out the Home Depot in Manchester, Connecticut. Okay, here we are. I don't see anything uh, right off the bat that's new. Um, there are some like pretty nice pothos lemon meringue in these Wick and Grow containers for $20. Actually looking pretty nice variegation wise um but i like I literally always catch them when they're doing work in here it's actually kind of funny because we have the same mentality of coming during the week when it's quiet cute little fiddles 15.98 do people still um look for these i know like the average plant person probably like my mom loves this plant i gave her mine Fill an engine Birkin. I know nobody's like collecting it anymore. <laughs> we all went crazy for this plant. Um, let's see, some ZZs. My brain's like not working. I'm like, what plant is this? They have some nice hanging baskets of Cebu Blue. I don't know if these were here last time, but I'm never mad about that. There's a bunch of them. I mean, I am mad about the growth pattern on these because they're straggly and irritating as a trailing plant. They definitely do better climbing and their leaves will get much bigger, but mine didn't want to attach to the pole. It was a pain in the butt. So I got rid of it. It's one of those plants that I would buy it already on a pole maybe, like the Marble Queen I want on a pole. It's just very straggly as a trailing plant you're constantly having to cut it, which is fine if you're okay with that. Um, just saying. It is beautiful though. Some cute begonias down here. I think these are $20.98 now. Yeah, they raised it. Strawberry begonia. That's not actually a begonia at all. Saxifraga. I don't know if that's how you say it. X really throws me off like I don't know with Latin you genuinely never know because C's are pronounced like S's that's why Dracaena is Dracaena and not Dracaena these are really cute I never really take the time to look at the veining on these leaves but it's really cute creeping fig some ivy this golden pothos is really beautiful huge leaves. Some people would even call it like Hawaiian. I think it's just when the plant is bigger if I'm being honest, but synopsis is pretty. 1998, there's copyright music right here, so let me not stand there for too long. See, they blacked out the prices on the old stock. Staghorn fern. All the floor plants over here, they're some massive, like, and when I say massive, I mean massive, super massive. Bird of paradise. Imagine if this was variegated, I would cry. Would literally cry. You're so determined to find one. <laughs> anyway, what else do we have over here? A lot of the same stuff. Sorry if I'm moving too quickly. Tons of Cebu Blue. Cute little Tradescantia Nanook. Um, I think this is Syngonia Maria, if I'm not mistaken. Some Hartley Philodendron. Some Sad Maranta over here that needs a little bit of lovin'. 
some water, a good soak. Um, there's some cute little bonsais if you're into that. I know somebody was like, you never show the bonsais. And that's because I just forget that anybody cares. Some ficus. These ZZs are really nice. Healthy looking. They've got some of the um, ravens hiding in here. I love the new growth on ZZ plants in general, but the raven is just so cool. How it comes in green and changes to black over time. And they all come in at one time. So the whole stem comes out with all, I guess it's, is it even technically a stem? I mean, yes, the whole stem comes out with the whole, all the leaves on it at one time, which is really cool. Most plants don't do that. So there's some Monstera hiding back here. No sport variegation today. Um, let's see. This Syngonium is cute. It has like... Oh, I thought it had green splash on it. It kind of does a little. It's just dirt. <laughs> rainbow moss. That's not super rainbowy right now. All of the assorted foliage that we usually see. Except for they do have this cute pothos enjoy or pearls and jade pearls and jade over here cute little peace lily babies purple passion is always one that you guys like 798 i like the lemon button fern i think it's really cute um, and this is the fetonia my mom always says she likes i feel like i should get her one Cute. I feel like they call it ruby red. I don't know why. I feel like they call that one Frankie. It's just like more pink than the other ones. I don't know. Maybe I'll snag it for her because this looks like it's a pretty healthy one. Got a cute pot. I like buying her plants because she gets excited about them and it's cute. I get to live through her getting excited about the common stuff because you get to a point like me where you know I don't, only thing I get excited about are like $300 anthuriums and <laughs> my bank account doesn't like that this aglionema is really cute though $26.98 wait until you see the plant mail you guys wait until you see what I bought oh goodness I need to calm down I'm literally about to move and buying all the plants uh monstera adansonii Costa Farms has yet to tell me what kind of like literal crack they're giving to these plants to make them so big but I don't know I wonder if they're gonna come out with new trending tropicals pots this year or if they're gonna stick to this band-aid pot and plissimum silver streak I have so many of these pots you guys as I've been going through <laughs> stacks and stacks of them old ones i've got like every single pot from every single line of trending tropicals that they've come out with the gray looks like it's a newer color so maybe they are sticking to it and they're plastic now 1998 for these monstera peru um, I don't think I skipped over, I might have skipped over these actually now that I'm realizing it. There's some more pothos. So the Enjoy I think just has less speckling on the leaves than the Pearls and Jade if I'm not mistaken. Some cute Calathea, these ones are kind of fuzzy. For everybody who's triggered when I touch plant leaves, this is for you. Ficus Teneki, one of my favorites. I realized um, that I've had mine for four years, my Ficus Teneki now. And she's grown from like a little baby like this to being pretty tall. She had thrips, so some of her leaves look really bad, but her new growth is coming in cute. And she's, she's, this is just gonna be a time that we look back on in her life. 
and she's gonna be fine. This is the Stromanthi something or other. I don't know, it's in the prayer plant family, but it's really cute. I think these are $20, $19.98 from Proven Winners, which I'm pretty sure is a Home Depot brand. Uh, because they don't have them anywhere else and they will put them on sale sun red philodendron philodendron erubescens hybrid really pretty another staghorn over here mine is still alive you guys and it's growing so i'm thinking i might mount it and put it on the wall in my new plant room so that it's not taking up shelf space monstera mash <laughs> okay it's just a deliciosa but it's cute it's nice and compact some lithops for 548 these are so cute and weird because i'm so determined to like keep these alive one day i can never get them right I either overwater or underwater somebody told me to just use like a dropper don't even like actually water them they look like brains. I had a bunch of different colors in one pot and they all eventually just like little by little kind of died. Oh, they're so weird. They're so weird. Everything in here is weird as heck. If I can pull the tray out a little bit, I can show you. It's a different type of, I think they call those living stones. I think they're related to the lithox. <laughs> they're so weird they're so weird um, there's some weirdos in here too there's this euphorbia with like the purple spikes I know it's got the stupid flower on it a lot of the time it comes right off um, some cute succulent arrangements and they've got these giant ones down here lots of euphorbia love a good euphorbs I think this is the corn cob one yeah, this is the Horida, maybe? Zipper plant, they're calling it. Euphorbia anop Anoplia. I'm not sure, but it's really cool. Some aloe. Some really interesting looking cacti hiding back here. This is like a, a star aloe variety, they call this one. Might be like Christmas Carol swordfish okay yeah pretty cool stuff going on over here there's some more small babies I had a few of these but I just wasn't loving them anymore and they were kind of taking up space Ooh. There's some weird cacti going on in here too that one looks like a mummy <laughs> and some cute succulents you got a little bear paws whatever the heck and Bob this is Euphorbia. I'm not even gonna try to say that. <laughs> it's like one of those crested. It kind of looks like coral. Really weird. David would probably like it. But if I buy him a plant, he's gonna be like, what the hell, babe? We're in the middle of trying to get rid of plants. I have to downplay my plant mail. Okay, so they do have these like hanging baskets of succulents that I've been seeing. They have like the fishbone cactus for $12.98, but I don't see any um, string of turtles or variegated string of pearls like I've been seeing in some other places. But they do have tons of the the cacti oh and this weird euphorbia this one's like medusa i think they call it very very strange very very strange okay let's see what's over here there's some more big cacti and stuff i don't know i like looking at these more than i do the foliage plants sometimes when it's just like the same stuff over and over it can be more interesting to see what's hiding in here but these are like older stock so nothing really new there's some variegated jade cute little elephant bush variegated different type of jade 
shirts, um, cute little stance of area. These always do really great as like a gift for somebody if you're not sure if they're good at keeping plants alive or not. And then these weird cacti that look like they were flattened. <laughs> cowboy cactus. It needs a hat. Don't you think? They should have put cowboy hats on them. They honestly would have sold probably a lot faster. Okay, fam, so that was the Home Depot, and they didn't really have anything exciting, but I had fun in there. Maybe it's just because I'm in a good mood, <laughs> but I enjoy looking at all the cute little plants in there, and I did pick up this adorable little Fetonia for my mom. I would say that it's going to be a surprise, but she's probably watching this, so hi, mom. I bought you this plant. <laughs> Don't yell at me. It was cute. So um, let's head over to the Lowe's and see what they have. Well, it is nice that the garden centers are open and that I don't have to walk all the way through and around. Okay, fam. Voiceover Jackie coming at you. We are at the Lowe's in Manchester, Connecticut. And as soon as I walk in here, I am going to head over to the left where I see some really cute hanging baskets. They have these here from Urban Jungle. This is the Syndapsis Exotica. This is the Philodendron Micans. Oop, lost a leaf, which is nice to see. These are $14.98. And they do come with a decorative pot, so I do think it's a really good deal for these Hartley philodendron a random snake plant for some reason in a hanging basket some more syndapsis exotica and then they have this cute little Cebu blue definitely been seeing those pop up some more this really highly variegated marble queen pothos they had some baby palm trees regular syndapsis up there as well some of the self-watering pots from Live Trends with different snake plants and Haworthia. These pots look new, new to me anyway. I haven't seen these before. They have got some Dracaena in them. And these ones are $13.98 from Urban Jungle. It looks like they've recently restocked these. Some Calathea. Dottie here, a couple of Peperomia, some Neon Pothos hiding in there as well. No shortage of Dracaena though, that's for sure. This really cute rabbit foot fern, never mad about one of those. I would love to have one eventually if I can find the right space for it. And then my eye caught this, which I've never seen before in the big box store. And this is the Silver Band Maranta. This is definitely one that I've been seeing pop up a lot more this year. One that I predicted we would see pop up a lot more this year. I was just low-key surprised to see it in Lowe's. <laughs> I'm not sure why because it did recently just hit some of the nurseries up here in the Northeast. I don't know about your area, but to see them in the big box store is pretty exciting. They're really beautiful Maranta. So again, $13.98 for these and there were a few of them hiding in there that I did find later on. I didn't film it, but there were a handful of them in there. So if you are in the area, definitely come and snag one if you've been looking for one. And then I couldn't help but notice these massive, absolutely beautiful Calathea White Fusion. This is another type of prayer plant related to Maranta. They're in the same family that I normally just don't see, not in a big box store, and certainly not this large. They are a little bit on the finicky side, but goodness, are they beautiful. So I had to rearrange a little bit. You guys will notice that I do tend to bring out plants that are hiding in the back that I think are cute, because you never know. Sometimes when people are walking by, they're like, ooh, and it catches their eye like this philodendron summer glory this is the philodendron gloriosum crossed with macaulay's finale and it is just really stunning and beautiful so i put it in front hoping that maybe somebody will be walking on by and see it and be like wow 
what's that? So you never know. They also had these really interesting, I think they're some sort of palm tree. I forget exactly what they're called. You guys have told me a few times, but they're really cool. They look like mermaid tails, in my opinion. They also had this Hemalamina Selby looking like she just needs a good soak and she'll perk right back up. So a lot of the usual suspects, but some really nice new stuff from Urban Jungle. And then, of course, all of our spring collection over here from Live Trends. This Pothos was really cute. They've got some neon, golden Pothos, all of the usual varieties, some really nice bonsais, Haworthia, these types of plants in these decorative pots make really nice gifts for family members and friends for different holidays and occasions. So some more Pothos down here for 19 98 and then they did have these really nice calathea rattlesnake i figure i was showing you all the other beautiful prayer plants that i couldn't leave this one behind it's definitely more common but when it gets that big it is just a really beautiful one and a really easy going one from what i've been told compared to other calathea but i haven't had it in my collection personally so i cannot speak to that but um that is that's what people tell me so they did have these cute little hanging baskets over here as well some curtisii oh almost dropped it for 16.98 so they do have these in the smaller baskets as well if you don't want a big one they do have a couple of little yellowing leaves but that's honestly really normal for the new growth on these after they've been shipped to the store they will totally bounce back and be fine purple waffle hanging out here another rabbit foot fern i just think they're so weird this is the hemigraphis or beautiful home decor <laughs> kind of just looks like grass if i'm being honest but cute grass and I don't know what this is, Codenanthe maybe, or some sort of Peperomia, but it looks like something that I would probably kill. And this beautiful Brazil, you can't go wrong with a Philodendron Brazil. Look at how stunning the new growth is on there. These things grow like weeds and they are an absolute no-brainer if you're looking for a beginner-friendly plant. Some really nice anthurium over here, what I call grocery store anthurium. <laughs> I like the darker ones. You guys would have seen me rescue a few of those recently, and I potted them up together, and I am happy to report that they are doing well so far. I will be doing a huge houseplant tour of everything that I have here before we move, and then I'll do another tour of everything once I have it settled into place over there so don't worry i will show you everything that i have here before i move it all um this is some sort of solanginella which is related to the rainbow moss that i show you guys it is a weird plant like this is it's strange it's cool but it's very strange not something that i would personally want in my collection but i do think it's cool um, this Rex Begonia is absolutely stunning as well. Love the pink leaves. Some Tradescantia, Apischia, or Pish, Apish, I don't know if that, I don't know how you're supposed to say it. <laughs> I have to look at it. Syndapsis Argerius, Argerius. Again, I don't know how you're supposed to say it, but it's fine. Like I said, I don't speak Latin, but the Apischia, Apis like I said before because it, it's got a C in it but it's not pronounced like a, a C it's an S so it can't be a Piscia it's got to be a Pis a Piscia you know what I don't know but this is a Pilea <laughs> Pilea Moon Valley really interesting texture on that one there's some more Curtisii in larger baskets hanging out back there this really nice pearls and jade absolutely love the contrast on this one, $16.98, again, for these smaller exotic angel hanging baskets. The larger ones are $20.98, so it's, what, a $4 difference? I feel like 
The larger ones are definitely a better value, but if you don't want a large plant, they do have smaller ones. This heart leaf, this neon heart leaf is absolutely stunning. This is a normal genetic mutation that will happen with the darker green on the leaves, but nonetheless, it is still beautiful. So some more assorted foliage here, nothing exciting. These begonia, Rex begonia are really pretty though some ferns tons and tons of ferns some begonia more ferns and then obviously this cartesii if you were wanting like i said a larger hanging basket of this plant they do have both available i love all the syndapsis and the cebu blue that i've been seeing it just like I don't know, reminds me of when I first got into plants because I would see things like that all the time at the big box stores and I feel like you don't really see them that much anymore. So I haven't seen a Silta Pecana in forever either. Anyway, Calathea, I think these are called Vitata, if I'm not mistaken, in these Wick and Grow containers for $12.98. They've got tons of peace lilies hiding back here some orchid cactus these are so weird and curly and i'm not mad at it cactus monstrosa whatever the heck and bob that means another beautiful basket of the pearls and joy some more photonia cute little peperomia pixie can't go wrong with a cute little peperomia pixie they've got the weirdest blooms on the face of the planet and that's it really a lot of the same stuff hanging plant wise some sago palms hiding there and then we have got some clearance lots of dracaena on the bottom shelf this lemon lime maranta actually looks totally fine it just needs like a prune and that's it like just consistent watering it'll be totally fine it's half off which means it's like I think they're usually 20 or 25 so even if you were just interested in the pots these plants are fine though like these ferns are totally fine i feel like they just put them here because they were wanting to make room for other stuff maybe because a lot of them totally look fine so can't say the same about that anthurium in the bucket that i just moved but there's a pretty decent selection of pottery and plants here that are definitely not in bad shape so i'd say that the clearance section alone is definitely worth coming to check out if you are in the manchester connecticut area this lemon lime was so tempting i'm not gonna lie because they do like that pot um, and it's 50% off, like I said, for anything $15 and up. So, can't go wrong with a clearance plant. This Exotica is on clearance too, even though it's totally fine. I think maybe the hanging portion of the pot might have been broken. But otherwise, um, the plant is totally fine. So, some floor plants over here. All of the orchids. They've got all their spring flowers out, which is always pretty to see. And then over here, we've got some begonia, maculata, some amplicimum, this really cute alocasia silver dragon. These are in their newer Wick and Grow containers for $20.00. And then some Baltic blue. These confused me for a second because I didn't see any fenestration. So I was like, what is it just like a regular Epipremnum panatum? But then, I don't know, this, uh, the little tag says Baltic blue. So apparently that's what it is. Lots of ZZ Ravens over there. And honestly, that is it for the lows. It's like so windy and cold that I can't breathe. My hair looks crazy. Anyway, that was Lowe's. And they had some new stuff. Like, when did I ever see a silver band? Maranta or a white fusion? Calathea in a big box store? So, Cost of Arms may not have given, up, given us anything new yet. I can talk. It's fine. Everything is fine. But... 
Um, Live Trends is picking up the slack. So Live Trends and Urban Jungle are the same company. Urban Jungle is just like a, a collection from Live Trends, just like how Costa Farms has their trending tropicals. They're the same company. I didn't know that until I looked it up. So <laughs> if you didn't know, now you know. So they've been coming out with some pretty good stuff. Those summer glories were really nice too. And I'm not going to lie, some of those clearance plants were very tempting because those pots were nice and a lot of them were fine. Like they just needed a little bit of love and water, maybe a repot, and they would have been fine. So if you are in the area, I would recommend coming and checking out the Lowe's. They do have some new-ish stuff and um, the clearance section was really not that bad. Like a lot of that stuff is rescuable and if not, at least they had some pretty decent pottery out. So that is it for this video you guys let me know if you saw anything that you would have snagged like i said before i just grabbed this cute little fetonia for my mom i'm probably gonna have to get her like some self-watering pots for these um she's attracted to thirsty plants anyway <laughs> if you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today you should definitely give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe all that stuff i'm gonna keep it quick and to the point, I appreciate you guys so, so very much. If you watched this whole entire video, leave me bird emojis because there's just like birds everywhere and they're chirping. And even though it's kind of windy and cold and dreary today, spring has still sprung, boo-boo. And the birds are out and they're chirping and I love it. So that is it for this video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me and I love you so so very much. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are out there in the world. Don't forget to spread kindness. Don't forget to drink your water and I will see you in the next one. Hopefully. <laughs>